Yo, yo, YouTube, it's your boy King James here. So last week, if you've been watching my channel, I did a video on the PPSH. And as far as I was concerned at the time, I think the PPSH is the best, if not one of the best, I'll call it now, SMGs in Warzone. But it was brought to my attention by a couple of you out there that there's other guns like the AK-74U, the Modern Warfare MP5, and the OTS-9 that are still really good SMGs that maybe I should compare the PPSH against because they're better contenders. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try all of them out, and then I'm gonna do a shootout video for which one I think is the best so stay tuned for that but right now let's talk about the AK-74U not to be confused with the AR the AK-47 the 74U is an SMG and it works pretty good it's got good stats good mobility and it hits pretty hard and not bad iron sights so I've been using it and I got a loadout for you right now Here, bitch. Oh, it's insane. Oh, 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 oh. Just came up and wiped us. Ah, oh, shit, King James. Could have used you three seconds earlier. Sorry, bro. Son of a bitch. So first, let's start by looking at some summary stats for the PPSH versus the AK-74U. And I'm also going to cover the MP5 and the OTS-9, as I talked about, but they're sort of different SMGs in that they're really meant for close range. And they're not quite as good at long, So, but we're going to compare them all together very soon, so make sure you stay tuned for that. However, for the AK-74U, you can see it is a little faster up close than the PPSH is. It's right around 603 milliseconds versus 630, so it's not a lot, but listen, if two guys start shooting at the same time, and hit the same shots you are going to get a kill faster with the AK-74U but there are a couple of differences that matter on it so the AK-74 it's got slower RPM which makes it a little harder to use it's got slower ADS speed um, it doesn't have quite the movement speed and nor does it have the bullet velocity and it's got a slower reload time. So by all matters, the stats themselves look like they're not really that great on the AK-74U, but the gun itself is actually really good to use and I do like using it. So let me show you a little gameplay of how it works. So how many times have you died to this scenario? You just grab your loadout and boom, a guy shows up. Thankfully, there was more than one of us there, but I still managed to get the down and this guy showed up and boom, got him down as well. So I found that the AK-74U absolutely did not hamper my gameplay. I kind of thought that maybe it was just going to be like a lesser version of the PPSH, but actually I was really successful with it. I really liked using it and I felt like it felt pretty good. I like the sound of it. The iron sights are nice and clean. You know, I think I like the iron sights on it a little better than the PPSH without the, you know, little round hoop that's on it. You know, this one's just sort of open and I checked a bunch of the blueprints to see which one that I liked the best. And, you know, I found I was pretty dang successful with it. It hits pretty hard and you can get those, you know, those downs with it right here. This guy's moving. He was able to track him the whole way and get the down. So I sort of went into this one. Maybe, you know, I shouldn't have, but I went into this one thinking I'm not going to like it as well as the PPSH, but I actually turned out to not be the case. So the few of you that, you know, said, hey, you need to try it out and give it a chance. You guys were right. This actually is a pretty good SMG and I do like it. And I think that, you know, in all of the different cases where I was running, having to move, jump and all the movement, you know, I didn't have any trouble with it despite having the slightly lower movement speed. I didn't actually feel it in the gameplay. So when figuring out what loadout to use, I always like to look at the ADS speed and the reload speed of either going with the regular largest mag or going with the fast mag because not every gun reacts the exact same way. And the FAR is a good example of that. No impact to the ADS, yet it gives you faster reload when you use the fast mag. But on the AK-74U, well, so this is the fast mag here on the left and this is the um, drum on the right. And when I go through the ADS, you can see that the drum does actually ADS a tiny bit faster, but it's like a couple of frames. So it's very negligible at best. But then when I tested the reload speed, I started them both off at the same time. And you can see the reload speed is exactly the same on the two. It pretty well gets done at the exact same spot. So there was no actual improvement to run with the fast mag. And all it did was give you a bit of a negative on the ADS. So you definitely want to run with the drum. So I'll make sure I'll recommend that when we do the build. And the other thing I wanted to look at was the iron sight. And this is the base blueprint iron sight. And this is the um, number carbon. I'm pretty sure that the uh, PE is probably silent. So we'll call it number carbon. And you can see how the 
the reticle is actually lifted up a little bit on this one, so it gives you a bit of a clear sight line. Forget the fact that I have the Tiger team here. You know, you can see that it's actually lifted up a bit. I kind of like that. And the Pop Star was also lifted up. But the rest of mine, Big Trouble, Field Infantry, and Armadillo, they were all pretty small and sort of dropped way down inside, the same as the base reticle was. So I kind of like the number of carbon and the Pop Star. If you have either, either of those, I'd probably use that because I just like the lifted reticle a little better. All right, let's look at the build now. So as I said, I'm carrying my AK-74U with my AK-47. I actually called it the AKs, as I mentioned. And together, this is a pretty damn good loadout. I actually really liked using these two together. They're solid. So if you have a chance and you like using the AK-74 and the 47, try them together, man. They were solid. Uh, but we're here to talk about the AK-74U. So I want to show you my loadout. But just before I do that, I want to say thank you to everybody who's recently subbed to the channel and is here watching my videos. I really appreciate all that love and support. So thank you, guys. And if you haven't subbed to the channel, consider subscribing because it really does help small content creators like myself. All right, let me show you my build. So the two blueprints I was talking about that had the um, iron sights slightly higher up for better visibility, that was the number carbon and the pop star. So if you have either of these, I would probably start with these. So we're gonna start with a number carbon because I just think it looks cooler. So for the magazine, you saw in that side-by-side -side testing I did, there's no increase in the reload speed and it just penalizes your ADS. So there's no point in running the fast mag. So make sure you're running the 50 round drum on it. Now for the muzzle, as with all of my SMGs I'm running these days, the Gru suppressor, sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range, all great. And to complement that, the task force, again, for more effective damage range, bullet velocity, and strafe speed, which helps you when you're moving back and forth when you're in a gunfight. Now, for stock on this one, I've been running no stock. I know a lot of guys are running the KGB Skeletal, but I want just pure sprint to fire time. This gives you the maximum reduction. So that's gonna lower the length of time it takes from when running to when you can shoot. And now that we've got the 50 round drum, the last thing I'm running on this is instead of the Tiger Team Spotlight, because the mobility on these guns are all so high now, I've actually started running the Serpent Wrap a lot of times because it gives you a massive boost to ADS speed. So all in all, this is gonna give you a really fast sprint to fire, a fast ADS speed, and it's gonna give you suppression and the effective damage range that you're looking for, along with 50 rounds, which is pretty solid amount of rounds for a single uh, magazine. And this has been really successful for me. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have you tried out the PPSH that I recommended last week or are you using the AK-74U or do you think you want to try this one out? I actually really liked it. And if you like the PPSH, you should give the AK-74U a try. Despite the sort of perceived disadvantages, when you're actually playing with it, I actually think this thing feels really great and it was really fun to use. And it's a good alternative to the PPSH. If you're looking for a faster killing up close, Right, if you don't mind that offset for some of the downsides, it does kill faster up close. And I can't say that I could really tell the difference, but I never really felt like when I was challenging somebody up close that I was losing very often with it either. And even in some of those sort of longer shots, I found that it was still really effective. So definitely worth trying out the AK-74U and coupled with the AK-47, made for a pretty damn good loadout overall. So you wanna try the two of them out together. It was kind of fun to run the two AKs. And right, I found, you know, that got lots of range it was easy to use and the ak 74 u man that thing downs up close like crazy so you know it's a it's a pretty good gun if you haven't tried it out i really recommend that you do uh make sure that you stay tuned to the channel because i'm going to cover also the uh, modern warfare mp5 and the ots9 and then do shootout on all of them since i'm sort of playing with some smgs again now that i'm out of my shotgun phase anyway um let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below make sure you sub to watch that and as always guys if you don't see me in warzone you don't see me in multiplayer? It's only a matter of time, baby. King James out. There it is, baby. Fuck yeah.